Welcome to another Hollywoods video where we show you what your favorite celebs in past TV shows, films, and music are like today. Before we get started though, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified of our newest videos. Today's video is all about the epic Harry Potter film series, which is based on J.K. Rowling's novel. Comment below, which film in the series do you think was the best and why? The Harry Potter series consisted of seven films beginning with Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in 2001 and ending with Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 in 2011. The Deathly Hallows Part 1 and Part 2 are considered to be the seventh film. The film series is about Harry Potter, a wizard who's accepted into Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry at age 11. While at Hogwarts, he learns how to perform magic, makes friends and enemies, has lots of adventures, and decides to find out the truth about his past, particularly his parents. The films are an epic epic up and down thriller as Harry battles the ultimate villain. Now let's take a look at the characters. Josh Herdman was 13 years old when he played Gregory Goyle, a student from the Slytherin house and best friends with Draco. He appeared in all films. Josh is now 34 years old and he is still an actor and a mixed martial artist. He has an upcoming TV series called The Man Who Fell to Earth. Sean Biggerstaff appeared in films 1 and 2 as Oliver Wood, the keeper and captain for the Gryffindor Quidditch team. He was 17 at the time. He's now 38 years old and he hasn't been acting since 2020. He does personalized videos on Cameo. Devin Murray was 12 years old when he played Seamus, a Gryffindor student at Hogwarts. He's present in all films. He's now 33 years old and his last film was back in 2018. He is active on Instagram though and does personalized videos. Jamie Waylett was 11 years old when he played Vincent. He's also a pure blood wizard and a member of the Slytherin house. Jamie appeared in films 1 to 6. He's now 32 years old and he hasn't been acting since 2009. Tom Felton was 13 years old when he played the villainous Draco Malfoy, a pure blood wizard sorted into the Slytherin house. Tom played Draco in all films. He's now 34 years old and he has starred in various films since then. He has an upcoming movie called Canyon del Muerto. Bonnie Wright was 10 years old when she first played the role of Ginny, the youngest daughter of Arthur and Molly Weasley. She appeared in all films. Bonnie is now 31 years old and she's currently focused on her environmental activism. She is an ambassador for the charities Greenpeace and Lumos. James and Oliver Phelps were 14 years old when they played the mischievous twin wizards, Fred and George Weasley. They appeared in all films. James and Oliver have continued to work together as a duo on other projects. They run a podcast together called Normal Not Normal. Alfred Enoch was 12 years old when he first played Dean, a half-blood wizard. Alfred played Dean in all films. He's now 33 years old and he is popular for his role as Wes in the ABC series How to Get Away with Murder. He also currently stars in the Apple TV Plus series Foundation. Harry Melling was 11 years old when he first played Dudley. He appeared in five Harry Potter films. Dudley was a human also known as a muggle and also Harry Potter's cousin. Harry Melling is now 32 years old and he's known for his role in the Netflix drama The Queen's Gambit. He has an upcoming film with Christian Bale called The Pale Blue Eye. Matthew Lewis was 11 years old when he played Neville, a Gryffindor student who's mostly shy, clumsy, and introverted. He was present in all Harry Potter films. Matthew is now 32 years old and he's currently the host of the official Leeds United podcast. Warwick Davis was 31 years old when he played Professor Flitwick in films 1 to 6 and as Griphook in Deathly Hallows. Warwick is now 52 years old and he's been active in the industry since he was 12. He's currently filming a reboot of classic fantasy movie Willow, but as an upcoming television series. Robbie Coltrane was 49 years old when he played Hagrid, a half-giant and a half-human. 
He serves as the gamekeeper and keeper of keys at the grounds of Hogwarts. He's present in all Harry Potter films. Robbie is now 71 years old and he is an award-winning Scottish actor. He appeared in the Harry Potter 20th Anniversary reunion special just recently. John Cleese was 61 years old when he played nearly headless Nick, the ghost of a wizard who died in a botched execution. He appeared in the first and second film. John is now 82 years old and he is a well-known English actor. He's been acting since 1962. John is currently filming The Palace, an upcoming drama film. Emma Watson was only 10 years old when she played Hermione Granger, friends with Harry and Ron. Hermione Granger was an overachiever who excelled academically. Emma is now 31 years old and just like her character, she also excels academically. She graduated from Brown University and she is known to be a great actress and activist. She advocates for gender equality and sustainable fashion. Her recent movie was the film Little Women where she played the role of Meg. Next up we have Rupert Grant who played Ron Weasley, the best friend of Harry Potter and eventually Hermione Granger. He is from a large red-haired pureblood family. Rupert was 12 years old at the time. He's now 33 years old and he has an upcoming film, Knock at the Cabin. This would be Rupert's return to film since 2015. Daniel Radcliffe played the main character of the film, Harry Potter, an orphan who learns he's a wizard. Harry Potter then attends Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Daniel was 11 years old in the first film. Now he's 32 years old and he is best known for his Harry Potter role as he became one of the world's highest paid actors. He has received various awards and nominations over the course of his career. Daniel is about to star in the biographical comedy film called Weird, the Al Yankovic story about Weird Al Yankovic. Richard Griffiths was 53 years old when he played Vernon Dursley in films 1 to 3 and films 5 and 7. Vernon was the father of Dudley and Harry Potter's uncle by marriage. Richard was an award-winning actor. Sadly, he passed away in March 2013 at the age of 65. Richard Harris was 71 years old when he played Professor Albus Dumbledore. Richard played the Hogwarts headmaster in the first two films before sadly passing away of cancer in 2002. He died at the age of 72. Ian Hart was 36 years old when he played Professor Quirrell in the first film. He's now 57 years old and he's been active in the film industry since 1985. His recent show was The Responder. John Hurt was 61 years old when he played Mr. Ollivander, a wand maker. He appeared in films 1, 4, and 7. John was an award-winning actor and sadly passed away in 2017 at the age of 77. His last film was Damascus Cover. Alan Rickman was 54 years old when he played Snape, an exceptionally skilled wizard and the head of the Slytherin house. He was present in all films. Alan's last two films were Eye in the Sky and Alice Through the Looking Glass. He sadly passed away in January 2016 due to cancer. Fiona Shaw was 42 years old when she played Petunia Dursley, the sister of Harry Potter's mother and wife of Vernon Dursley. She appeared in films 1 to 3 and films 5 and 7. Fiona is now 63 years old and she stars in the BBC hit show Killing Eve. Maggie Smith was 66 years old when she played Professor Minerva McGonagall, head of Gryffindor House. She's present in all seven films. Now she's 87 years old and she has received the highest achievement for film, TV, and theater. Her awards include two Academy Awards a Tony Award and an Emmy Award. She's currently filming The Miracle Club. Julie Walters was 51 years old when she played Molly Weasley, a pure-blood witch and the mother of the Weasley kids. Julie was present in all films except for The Goblet of Fire. She's now 72 years old and she has received numerous awards, including the British Academy Television Award, an Emmy, and a Golden Globe. 
Her most recent film was The Secret Garden. Mark Williams was 42 years old when he played Arthur Weasley, the father of the Weasley kids. Mark appeared in films 2 to 7. He's now 62 years old and he's been playing the title character in the long-running BBC series Father Brown since 2013. He was also present in the Harry Potter 20th anniversary reunion. Kenneth Branagh was 41 years old when he appeared in the second film as Professor Lockhart, the new Defense Against the Dark Arts professor. Kenneth is now 61 years old and he has won numerous awards including an Academy Award, four BAFTAs, two Emmy Awards, and a Golden Globe Award. He's currently filming Oppenheimer with Killian Murphy. Shirley Henderson was 36 years old when she appeared in the second and fourth films as Moaning Myrtle, a ghost who haunted the second floor girl's bathroom at Hogwarts. Shirley is now 56 years old and she's been acting since 1987. She has an upcoming film called See How They Run. Jason Isaacs was 38 years old when he played the role of Lucius Malfoy in the second film and films 4 to 7. Lucius is the father of Draco Malfoy. Jason is now 58 years old and he has starred in numerous films. He has an upcoming film with Leslie Manville called Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris. Michael Gambon was 63 years old when he played Professor Dumbledore in films 3 to 7. Dumbledore was the headmaster of Hogwarts. Michael is now 81 years old and he has won multiple awards including two Screen Actors Guild Awards and four BAFTA Awards. Gary Oldman was 45 years old when he played Sirius Black a pure-blood wizard and the godfather of Harry Potter. Gary is now 63 years old and he has received numerous awards including an Academy Award and a Golden Globe. He's one of the cast members of the upcoming star-studded film Oppenheimer. Timothy Spall was 46 years old when he played Peter Pettigrew, also known as Wormtail or Scabbers in films 3 to 7. Timothy is now 64 years old and he has starred in many films including Enchanted and The King's Speech. He's currently filming The Pale Blue Eye with Christian Bale. David Thewlis was 40 years old when he played Professor Remus Lupin in films 3, 5, 6, and 7. David is now 58 years old and he has starred in numerous films including Wonder Woman where he played Ares. He's currently filming Enola Holmes 2 with Millie Bobby Brown. Emma Thompson was 44 years old when she played Professor Trelawney, Professor of Divination at Hogwarts. She appeared in films 3, 5, and 7. Emma is now 62 years old and she has won many awards including two Academy Awards. She's currently filming Matilda the Musical. Ralph Fiennes was 42 years old when he played Lord Voldemort aka the Dark Lord. He first appeared in the fourth film and was present until the last film. Ralph is now 59 years old and he has won numerous awards for his acting. He's currently filming The Wonderful Story of Henry Sugar. Brendan Gleeson was 49 years old when he played Alistair in films 4, 5, and 7. Alistair is the most famous Auror of all time. Brendan is now 66 years old and he has won two British Independent Film Awards. He has an upcoming film with Colin Farrell called The Banshees of Inisherin. Jeff Rawl appeared in The Goblet of Fire as Amos Diggory, a wizard and the father of Cedric Diggory. Jeff was 53 at the time. He's now 70 years old and he's been an actor since he was 22 years old. His recent project was BBC's The Canterville Ghost. Robert Pattinson was 18 years old when he appeared in the fourth film as Cedric Diggory, the captain of the Hufflepuff Quidditch team. He's now 35 years old and he's properly known for his breakout role as Edward Cullen in the Twilight series and most recently the Batman. Katie Lung was 17 years old when she played Cho Chang, the first love interest of Harry Potter. Katie appeared in films 4 to 7. She's now 34 years old and she's also a theater actor. She has an upcoming Amazon TV series called The Peripheral. Clémence Poesy was 22 years old when she appeared in films 4 and 7 as Fleur de la Cour, student of Beaubaton Academy of Magic. Clémence is now 39 years old 
old and she has an upcoming TV series called The Essex Serpent. Afshan Azad was 17 years old when she played Padma Patil in films 4 and 5. She's now 34 years old and she also does modeling. Shafali Chaudhry was 16 years old when she played Pavardi Patil, twin sister of Padma. She's now 33 years old and she appeared in a short film back in 2019. She's currently inactive on social media. Stanislav Lineski was 19 years old when he appeared in The Goblet of Fire as Victor Crumb, a Bulgarian wizard. He's now 36 years old and he recently starred in a film called Last Man Down. Helena Bonham Carter was 40 years old when she played the powerful and dangerous witch trained by Voldemort. She appeared in films 5 to 7. Helena is known for appearing in several Tim Burton films. She's now 55 years old and she's currently filming Enola Holmes 2. Imelda Staunton was 51 years old when she played Dolores Umbridge in films 5 and 7, a headmistress known to be cruel to the Hogwarts students. She's now 66 years old and she's been acting for 46 years. She's currently filming The Crown Season 5 where she landed the role of Queen Elizabeth II. Ivana Lynch was 15 years old when she played Luna Lovegood, a student of Hogwarts in films 5 to 7. Ivana is now 30 years old and she's a theater actor and an advocate for veganism and animal rights. Natalia Tena was 22 years old when she played Nymphadora Tonks a witch with the magical ability to change her physical appearance. Natalia appeared in films 5 to 7. She is now 37 years old and she is also known for her role in HBO series Game of Thrones. Helen McCrory was 39 years old when she played Narcissa Malfoy in films 6 to 7. She was the wife of Lucius Malfoy and mother of Draco Malfoy. Helen had numerous films and she was best known for her role in Peaky Blinders as Polly. Sadly, she passed away in April 2021 at the age of 52. Scarlett Byrne was 18 years old when she played Pansy Parkinson, a Hogwarts student and a member of the Slytherin house. Scarlett appeared in films 6 to 7. She's now 31 years old and she hasn't been acting since 2019. She recently gave birth to twin daughters. Dom Now Gleason was 26 years old when he played Bill Weasley in Deathly Hollows. Bill is one of Ron Weasley's older brothers. Dom Nall is the son of Brendan Gleeson, who played Alistair Moody in the film series. He's now 38 years old and has starred in numerous films and theater projects. His most recent film was Peter Rabbit 2 The Runaway. That's it for Harry Potter then and now on the entire film series. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more then and now videos about your favorite actors, singers, and more. We'll see you in the next video.